I am so tired of the Tua Tagovailoa and Justin Herbert debate. This debate has recently been spearheaded by Emmanuel Acho, and he is so incredibly dishonest and illogical with his analysis. Speaking on Herbert, he has said, Justin Herbert is both overpraised and maybe the most overrated quarterback in football. Justin Herbert's record is 19 and 20 as a starter through 39, excuse me, through 39, yes, games. Which is such a lazy argument. Using team wins as a stat to back up why Herbert sucks completely disregards the fact he had one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL's rookie season, was hurried more than any quarterback in the NFL that year, and disregards the fact Rashawn Slater, who fixed their offensive line problems last season, has only played in three games this season. He also fails to acknowledge how bad the Chargers defense has been over the course of Justin Herbert's young career. During his rookie season, the Chargers defense gave up 26.6 points a game, good for 10th worst in the NFL. Last year, they gave up 27 points a game, good for 4th worst in the NFL. And this year, they're giving up 26 6.5 points a game good for fourth worst in the NFL. It is hard to win games when your defense is that bad. Emmanuel Acho has also spun this weird social media quarterback narrative saying, Justin Herbert is a social media quarterback. What do I mean? Justin Herbert makes throws that can go viral on social media in this day and age. Instagram reels, TikTok videos, Twitter clips. Then on social media, they don't show you interceptions. That's not fun. People aren't going to retweet a pick. People aren't going to retweet a bad sack. People aren't going to retweet a bad decision. Had Tua made the mistake to throw a pick in the end of the game with two timeouts remaining, he'd be crushed like Joy said. And the thing that really bothers me about this argument is his blatant bias. He is so mad that Herbert gets so much praise for his crazy plays because he feels like people ignore his bad plays when at the same time they would flame Tua for his horrific interceptions and downplay the crazy plays that Tua makes. He's doing the same shit. When speaking about Herbert's win-loss record, not once has he acknowledged that Keenan Allen has missed seven games, not once has he acknowledged Mike Williams has missed four games, Donald Parham has only played in two games this season, Gerald Everett missed the Chiefs game, and as I mentioned earlier, they haven't had Rashawn Slater since week three. If Tua was missing Jalen Waddle, Mike Gesicki, and Teron Armstead in a three-point loss to the Chiefs, Emmanuel Acho would lose his mind over how heroic the performance from Tua was to fight through so much adversity, giving his team a chance to win the game. When he praises Tua, he also never really acknowledges the Dolphins' defense is stacked top to bottom with talent. You need to remain objective when evaluating players, and you don't need to tear down another quarterback in order to prop another one up. In reality, Tua is a a very good quarterback that is extremely accurate, and Justin Herbert is one of the most physically gifted quarterbacks in the NFL. I wish Emmanuel Acho was more honest with how he discusses these two players, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below.